Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. And today I'm gonna show you the all new 2021 Forest River Salem Hemisphere 378 FL. Now, I did make a video of the last one that we had uh, that came in. It blew up, that was insane. I don't know what happened there, but it is an amazing camper and they have actually made some upgrades to it. So for starters, there is a window on the front of the unit, which I'll show you inside. Um, you still have the large lighted and power awning, the two entries and several slides. Uh, you still have a huge pass through storage space. There are water connections right over there and you can winterize from there as well. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So again, one of the biggest changes that they made was, uh, the window on the front but now you're looking at it and going what window so as you can see uh they have put the tv inside the console and i'll show you now i only have i'm only running off a of battery power right now but the tv will go down inside the entertainment center and it'll sit flush Ta-da! Which means when you're in here, you're just hanging out. Not only do you have a nice little shelf here, you can put some plants, uh, make it a little more homey, but you also get a lot of natural sunlight along with the windows that were already, uh, you know, in place. So the two on the sides of each couch, which both of these couches across from each other on the slides do fold out into a bed. Um, and then of course the large window above the couch, you still get the 32 inch fireplace along with the Jensen radio, the Thomas Paine recliner set that does have the nice LEDs and in the kitchen still have the huge Furion refrigerator, uh, that has the wine cooler in it. You've got a three burner, uh, Furion stovetop and oven. It does have a matching drawer down at the bottom. You've got the large single basin sink with the pull down sprayer and the drying rack. But you also get, now I did have a table before, but uh, I can't recall exactly if it had the extension, but it also does have a bench. And underneath this uh, seat here, which I didn't unstrap it, but there is storage there. And of course, you still get the large windows uh, on the dinette slide that offer tons of natural light. Back here, of course, you do have your bathroom, toilet. You got some storage racks. I mean, you got to be like 10 feet tall to not to hit your head in the shower. You do have a seat in there. It's a large residential shower. And, you know, if you are... 10 foot two, there is a skylight in there. So if you need a little more headroom, <laughs> it's there. Of course, you got your medicine cabinet and your vanity. And then upstairs, like I am quite literally, I don't know if I can get this around here, but I, the floor is down there. Um, and I can sit in here. And the only thing rubbing is my ponytail. But you do have the two teddy bear bunks. These shelves back here are removable so that if you didn't want to worry about your kids hitting their heads or if you got a couple adults up here, you don't, they don't have to worry about hitting their heads. The shelves will come loose. They just sit in there. You do have to take them off for travel. Uh, you've got some storage space there. And then you've also got some storage space over here as well. And then over there on that is where you would mount a TV. We'll go ahead and take a look downstairs again in the very back of the unit. Now the bedroom has not really changed. Uh, you still get the dressers and the cabinet. That cabinet is a closet. That's a huge window. Let me open this curtain here because this is a massive window. And I love natural sunlight. Uh, so being able to wake up and see all the, it's a little cold outside. So the curtain's not wanting to roll up all the way. Um, but being able to get all this natural sunlight is amazing. Your bed is on a slide, so you get an excessive amount of walk space around the bed. There are USB ports and outlets 
on each side of the bed. And again, you get an excessive amount of walk space around the bed. So you could actually put a couple of nightstands in here and be able to set your things on nightstands next to your bed. In this closet here, very deep closet, and I did shut off the lights. So we'll turn that back on. It is push button. You do have a clothes rack along with a washer and dryer hookup. So if you weren't gonna use a washer and dryer hookup, you could use this as a regular closet. It does um, extend under the stairs a little bit and you've got tons of storage space here. If you'd like to see this unit in person, come check it out at Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois.